What's up guys? Welcome to your 183rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do is, I told you guys we'd get into texturing and I was going to like print a bitmap on the triangle or something like that. But you know, that'll probably take up too much time and we've been doing a lot of GL stuff or open GL stuff. So we're just going to, you know, print some colors on our triangle instead. And hopefully we can get everything done within this tutorial. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to open up our GL triangle class and we're going to set up a new array that's going to hold our values for each vertex um, because or uh, each vertice here um, each vertice will have a different color value they'll kind of blend together you can see how that works so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy uh, this float here and we're going to change this to our RGBA for red green blue alpha um, values something like that or just vowels and obviously this is going to take four values for each uh, vertex a red value, a green value, a blue value and an alpha value so let's just try and uh, you know create something so we're going to have it be completely red and completely green and then no blue and maybe 0.5 uh, for alpha so half transparent um, for our first vert vertice Man, it's getting way too late here. And, you know, I don't really know what colors these are going to be. I'm always terrible with colors, so we're just going to kind of wing it. And then the next one, we're going to say like a 0.25F uh, for the red. For the green, we're going to have zero. For the blue, we're going to say like 0.85, something like that. And then we'll have a full alpha. Um, so it's completely opaque instead of transparent. And then we also have to put F here. I'm sorry. And then for our last vertice, let's say 0, 1, 1, uh, and 1 as well. So there we go. Just basically our red, green, blue, and alpha values. And again, we have to set up a buffer for this. So we're, it's going to be a float buffer as well since we're working with floats here. So we're just going to call this color buff. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy one of these buffers down here because again we just need a byte buffer as well. Pretty much everything is the same um, except we're going to change this from PB to just T for like to C for like color and also this one to C. And uh, we also have to change this to a float float buffer instead of a short buffer and this to C as well. And also we need to, you know, get the length of our new array that we set up here, which we called um, RGBA vowels. So that's just going to get the length, and we times that by four because again they're floats. So I know we're going kind of quick, but this is all kind of review for the most part. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our uh, a color buffer uh, to be this float buffer um, for all these as well. So again, we're just going to insert our color so it's the RGBA vowels there um, and then we're just gonna you know move to position zero and then we're good to go now what we need to do is we need to go within our on draw method because this is where you know we're actually gonna send this is where we're actually gonna draw our triangle and all that good stuff and what we need to enable is the color array so we're just gonna say gl.gl .gl see if I can get it GL enable client state and it's going to refer to the again GL 10 dot GL underscore color array and then we also have to disable this so uh, we're just going to go below where we draw our element and just say disable uh, client state and again we're just going to refer to the GL 10 class dot uh, GL underscore color array and then we also have to set up our pointer for our color for colors for each vertex and all that good stuff so um, right below our, or right above our draw elements and below our vertex pointer we're just going to say gl dot gl color um, pointer down here and again it takes a size so the size is going to be um, how many dimensions we're working with since we have a red value a green value a blue value and an alpha value there's four dimensions or four things uh, within per line that it's looking for. The type again is a float, so we're just going to say gl10.gl underscore float 
and the stride with zero and the pointer is the pointer that we set up called color buff and there we go let's just try and run it hopefully everything works I don't think we need to set up anything within a render class so um, yeah our renderer class should be fine we don't have to change anything there and there we go we have this crazy looking triangle um, with different colors for each one and uh, that's pretty much it for the OpenGL stuff I know we went kinda quick through the colors here but uh, hopefully you know it's kind of re repetitious enough where you understand what these buffers are doing how to set them up uh, again all we had to do is we had to enable the color array and disable it as well and then we also have to set our pointer and uh, you know that's pretty much it for for these tutorials and we're gonna move on to something you know not as complex just like some small tutorials like one or two tutorials to complete whatever we're trying to do and then um, you know we're gonna be pretty much done here soon so thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good one